Today, I'm going to show you a really cool way to tie your shoelaces. It's quicker than tying your shoes in the conventional way, and you're less likely to get them knotted. Start by removing the lace from your shoe, because we'll be threading it in a different way. Then take your lace, thread it through the top holes, like this, and make sure you've got equal length on both sides. Then cross the lace over, and tie a half knot in the middle, like this. Then we need to thread the laces from the outside into the middle. Work your way from the top all the way down. I'm just crossing the laces over, but if you like, you could try different patterns or styles. When we get to the end, we need to tie the lace off. I'm threading it back through the hole on itself. Remove the slack from above. And tuck the end up alongside the tongue, like this. Do the same with the other side. Thread it through the hole. And tuck the end up. And that's what the bottom of the shoe will look like. If you like, you could try joining the two ends together along the bottom. Or tie a knot in the end to stop it coming through the hole. But I found this method works fine. You can't feel it with your feet, and friction keeps it in place. Next, we need to remove the slack from the bottom, and work it all the way to the top, like this. And your shoe is now re-threaded, and ready to use. To remove the slack, you can take this loop from the second eyelet down, and give it a good pull to tighten the shoe onto your foot. Then swap over to make loops coming out of the top eyelet. Cross them over and tie them together to make a bow. It looks nice and smart, and with a bit of practice it's really easy to do. To undo the knot you need to pull the lace coming out of the top eyelet. You can pull both sides or just one. Pretty cool, huh? If you like, when you put your shoe on, you can remove all the slack just by pulling up on the top loops. Then tie the lace as before, and it's really quick to do. Undo using the top strings, and it's easy to make some slack. It takes a bit of practice to get quick at, but it's good fun to try. And if we compare it to tying shoelaces the conventional way, we can see how much quicker it is. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more life hacks and fun tricks, you can click on the links on the right hand side, or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.